This is Riley from Techies. I'm going to be doing some Steam Deck uh, upgrades today. What uh, do we have? Uh, we have um, an SSD upgrade. We've got a 512 gig SSD. Okay. Uh, in the 22 or 2230 form factor. It has to be that size or else it won't fit. Um, and then we also got some replacement uh, joysticks. Hall effect sensor joysticks, which means they use magnets and won't wear out and cause joystick drift later on. Okay. Let's see, it is the it is the 64 gig EMMC model. Okay. So what you want to do? We're going to shut it down. We'll open the Steam Deck. Um, probably the most important thing to do is to remove the SD card. Because you will you will damage the SD card if you try to open it while it's in there. Yep. Right, okay. okay. So there are eight screws on the back that need to be removed. Um, the four in the center are shorter, and the four on the outsides are longer. to get some sort of pry tool in between the, the gap in the casing, the housing. I'd recommend using a plastic tool so you don't damage the plastic cover. Next, we'll need to remove three screws to get the plate off. One, two, and then one under this foil. That should just come off. Now we disconnect the battery. There's a little pull tab here. Pop that off. The battery's disconnected. And there is where our drive will go. This is the EMMC. Uh, you want to take the little plastic off or, or sleeve. foil sleeve, yeah. Do you have to format it or do anything to it? Um, no, it'll be formatted when we reinstall the OS. Uh, the recovery image from Steam, because we will have to reinstall the OS once the new drive's put in. Okay. Um, uh, download that, and then you'll need Rufus to flash it. Okay, and we'll have the links below in the, in the video mm -hmm. for no. this as well. Mm -hmm. We've got our flash drive plugged in. Um, I believe they say it needs to be at least 8 gigs. Ours is 64. Uh, so you want to select the recovery image. Make sure you, the, the drive you want is selected. And click OK. It will delete the flash drive. And while that is imaging, open up and the battery disconnected. Uh, we're going to remove the, the two joysticks. They're real easy to remove. Uh, first, uh, flip up on the tab that locks down the ribbon cable and unplug it. Okay, now they're each held in by three screws. One hand. Okay, and then you can actually push from the bottom. Push the, push the joystick. Same oh. for the left side. Here's our old ones, here's our new ones. Now the new ones don't come with the, uh, the caps on the top, so we'll have to swap those. And there is... And there we go, we got it off. Okay. Next one. Right. And then just add a little 
little bit of solder. Might not entirely be necessary, but you know, make it easier and give it a better connection. And they did not come with much on there. And you're using letter solder. Letter yeah, solder too. yeah, and and this is good, better quality solder than what's probably on there. Yeah, I'll wrap the wrap the extra wire on like that. Ready to go back in. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our two joysticks uh, prepped now. Didn't really we'll cut that frame. Okay, we're going to start the... The right joystick, which is on the left when you flip it over. Uh, the, the board will have an R on it, and this board has an R on it. And again, it's right. And it snaps in or just lines up? It uh, it lines up. There's, uh, there's like t some plastic pegs that line it up. Okay. And then... Put uh, the ribbon cable. So is there's a little line there to line it up then? Yep, there's a little line on the on the connector to know that it's lined up with uh, the, flap. the lever. Yeah, mm -hmm. flap. Okay. And then the three Upgrades are done. You can plug the battery back in. All right, what do we got going on here now? Uh, we got our image USB okay. and a adap adapter. C to USB 3.0, okay. Yep. Plug those two in. Okay. And then um, hold the minus button and the power button. Just until you hear the beat. Okay. Now we're in the boot menu. Since I had a blank drive, um, the only thing that shows up is our EFI USB flash drive. Mm -hmm. Select it. Yep, so now we're in the final booting process. There we are. All right. So, so now what do we do now? Um, now we want to re-image Steam Deck. Oh, wow. Okay, that came up in one click. I thought it was a double click, but um, there were four options there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, just. I clicked it. Okay. Yeah, so now it says it'll destroy all the data on the Steam Deck and reinstall SteamOS. Okay. Click proceed. It's going to reboot. Do that next. And there you go. Now on the setup screen. Yep. Brand new Steam Deck. Okay. Awesome. All right, you go, guys. So like, subscribe, and come check out the latest videos. Thank you guys for watching.